It was number one in 2003. Was it? By the end of 2003, it was number two. Aquaba, bigger one, trounced it. Aquaba. Now it's the seventh. It's the seventh? The seventh tallest in the world. What about the flag? Can you tell me anything about the flag? Yeah, the flag is in proportion to the pole. But is it like one of the biggest flags in the world? I don't think it's one of the biggest flags in the world. You don't think? You're supposed to know this stuff. Well, I don't know exactly the ranking of the flag. I'm not even interested in the flag, to be honest. You brought up the flag, and I was clearly trying to steer it away from even mentioning the flag. Well, you know, that, you know why that is? I want to focus on the pole. Well, yeah, but what is a pole without a flag? It's just a big stick. A flagpole. No, it's the a big seventh stick. highest flagpole in the world. That's Got what it is. Got to have a flag on it, otherwise seventh. it's not a flagpole. It's just a bit pole. I've never heard anything so demented in my life. Okay. That's so clearly the seventh highest flagpole in the world, it hurts. So have you sat on it? I think I might be the first person to sink in this lake. There's something wrong with me. There's like a kind of inner toxicity. Go on, Richie, you've got to go on your back. I don't want to go on my back. Yeah. Why would I want to go on my back? Because that's the point, you float in it. It's not, it's not, the, it's not why the sea's here. It is. It's not. That's not why it is. That's weird. That's weird. It's weird. It's very weird. On your back. This is wet salt. Yeah, go on, Richard, come on. Well, it's, this is what happens in casting sessions. Yes, I Before know. Before you know it, you're in a hotel for a meeting. <laughs> go for it, honestly. I don't want I'm to. I'm not Harvey. It's going to be OK. No, I can't. <laughs> and now I've got... Oh, that, I do have cuts on my face. Yeah. I can't do it. Is it salty? It's like a trust exercise. <laughs> Shall I go behind Jeez. you? Jeez. Go behind you. It's in my and, nose. And no. You fall, you fall Get away from me, Peter Brook. No. I don't want to lie back. I don't enjoy it. This sea is not here for us. Nothing lives in this sea. Yeah. Nothing, apart from we, bacteria us, and us. some algae. We're barely living. We've shown that. <laughs> I'm going to show you again. It's just salt. Follow me. It's wet salt. Follow me into the wet no. salt. Who Think... are you? David <laughs> Koresh? Here I'm we not go. joining your cult. Look at that. It's bloody salty. I've got, sp I've got that in my mouth. Sorry, I've gone all Robbie Fowler, but I've got a lot of salt in my mouth. You're ruining my zen. That's what you're doing. I can't believe one of the most prominent atheists in the country <laughs> has accused me of ruining his zen. Zen. This is a body of water in which you were recommended to only do backstroke. If that's not creepy, I don't know what is. Are you still definitely not going to float? I can't float. I can't do it. I can't go back. It's not right. Oh. I'm going to try to what I'm going to do. Go on. I'm going to taste a bit of it. Good luck. i tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, bloody hell, that's, that's salty. That's right. Oh, my God, that's salty. <laughs> that Microsoft Word book is probably out of date. The low-calorie cookbook. Do you have this in your arsenal? Uh, I lost 93 pounds with the help of AIDS and a calorie-controlled diet. I was going to ask you, actually, because you're tall. Thank you. And it seems to me that you never seem to put on weight. How the whole time you? I've watched your career, right. you've always been thin. Well, anxiety helps. Yeah. There's some anxiety taking care of things. But look, this guy, yeah. that's what you want an author to look like. He's amazing. Medical horror. Is that what he wrote? Yeah, he did Fever. To Barbara and Fluffy, my constant companions. I'm suggesting that Fluffy is a dog. No, Fluffy was his wife. OK. Barbara was the dog. Fair enough. I'm interested that his books are just called Fever, Brain, Sphinx, Coma, and then The Year of the Intern. The of the he wrote intern. four books and thought, I'm yeah. going to have to make the titles longer. That would have been a different Bruce Lee film. Yeah. We just did a lot of admin. Yeah. I'm going to get God Player. It's always good to have a spare copy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks great there, doesn't he, John? When's he ever not look good? My baby. <laughs> what is that, a diary? It's my baby. We should get something about Jordan, shouldn't we? I'm going to get this. Do you I'm actually again. want that? I'm slightly interested to see how it, the style of its writing. Oh I'm definitely God. getting this, and I'm getting God Player. Okay, God Player is so dirty. I don't mean sexual. I no, mean, it is. Is it? It does need to be wiped down. Yeah, it does need to be wiped down. Thanks for uh, handing it to me. Yes. I may get a terrible I can't disease as well. Holding it. As well. Okay. Shall we pay for these? You can't get diseases from dust. Nigel Slater. Do you want to know why the sand's so red? Yeah. Iron oxide. Oh. There you go. Impress your friends when you're next to the party. Hello. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. 
Hey now. God. All Des right, let's just potato. slowly <laughs> does it. I don't know that I can ever be truly comfortable on a mode of transportation that defecates. Have you ever had a piggyback? Well, not, not from someone who's currently defecating. <laughs> then you haven't lived. As absurd as it is, whenever I see horses go by and they're pooing, I go, oh, come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had a sense with camels, they are the most pissed off about being used for transportation. Huskies, fine. Horses, they love it. Camels, really big sense of go away. Because there must I don't have been be doing a stage when they were just going along, fine. And then suddenly... Yeah, people. People were on them. People were it's on It's already them. hot. <laughs> They're going long distance. Yeah. And now, yeah. this absolute Huge. freeloader yeah. has decided... Has saddled up. I know. But they do get something out of it. What? Camel food. Camel food? They were eating before people were on them. But they were not in, like... What do you think came first? They didn't... <laughs> but almost definitely, that bloke has got a big sack of camel food. So it's a steam train. It's a bloody steam train. What are the soldiers doing here? They take the tickets. Yeah. I think they're about to get involved in this very staged reenactment that we're about to run into. It's a reenactment? It's going to be a reenactment. What kind of spoiler is that? I'm uh, preparing I, you so I, you can prepare psychologically. OK, but I would have been genuinely terrified. And now I'll just be kind of cynical about it. I'm letting the editor make that choice. If the editor wants to sow the seeds, yeah. the editor can do that, or the editor can cut this bit out and, and keep it as a surprise. I know, but I'm not a good enough actor to I'm actually about providing choices. look terrified anymore. Oh, please, don't force me into a confidence. Do you like trains? I do like trains. It's one of the few modes of transport that don't make me sick. Yeah. I'd happily go on trains. Would you? For a prolonged period of time. Well, that suggests that the premise of Travel Man yeah. would not work if it was Train Man. No, it wouldn't. You'd be happy? Yes. I haven't seen you happy so far. Thank you. Is this you happy? I mean, this is me neutral. OK, so that's pretty happy. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. But I'm quite happy with this. The dust is a bit much for a man with dust allergies. Yeah. You appear to have motion sickness. Yes. Allergies. Yes. A series of other psychological, neurotic issues going How on. How dare you. And generally be quite depressed about the thought of going anywhere. Yes. I'm difficult company. Yeah. Dave, I hate to press you to highlights of the trip. It mm. seems crass. Mm. And yet, we must sum up. Yeah, OK. Arriving. Yes. And leaving. Two highlights. Mm. And then in between? Petra. Petra. Good. What did you... Okay. That was good. You didn't think it was good? No, I was, I was expecting more. I uh, had a massage in the hotel, but we didn't film that. Okay. That was good. Wow, this has been a memorable trip for you. <laughs> you arrived, yeah. concluded that Petra was good, yeah. had an unauthorised massage on the show's tab, mm. and now you're looking forward to leaving. Yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's a holiday. It's a mental holiday. Hmm. Small hotel. Small hotel. Yeah, the you, man... You connected with that man. That man in the small hotel, I think he might be secretly my father. It's difficult to know what the difference between an abandoned car mm. and a hotel is. Yeah. And I'm... I feel he was really questioning those assumptions. Mm. Mm. I'd, I could view that as a burnt-out car, skip... Yeah, depressing. ...on the side of a road. Yeah. That someone's, that someone's put a blanket over. Just by over. branding. Mm, just by saying it is. Yeah. You know what we live in now? The era of self-declaration. Exactly. I'm inspired to open up my own boutique chain of hotels. They'll be open-top hotels. Um, they're buckets. With convertibles. They're going to be buckets. Are they going to be buckets? Yeah. Just and they're actually going to be smaller than that hotel. Yeah, if unless it's quite a large bucket. Yeah. yeah. They will also be night cheese. Oh, will they? Yeah. They'll okay. be night cheese provided to that open-top hotel. Yeah. Um, and for me, to come to Jordan and get a business idea like that. Yeah. What kind of cheese is the night cheese? Night cheese for me is a soft cheese. Yeah. I it's thought... a pasteurised cheese. OK, it's hard to get and it's here. a cheese that goes down easy. It's a cheese that you can digest and get back to sleep. Borsan. That's night cheese. Borsan? No, it's not Borsan. It's, it's, it's not got herbs in. OK. It doesn't want to have too much interest. I'd, I'd say it's a bland... It's probably... A, it's between a yellow and an orange. Feta. And it's probably in a tube. Oh, primula. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of the little toothbrush mm. and a tube of toothpaste, I'd give a tube of cheese Primula. and a spork. 
and that oh. would be brandy yeah. night cheese. 4 a.m. Night cheese. <laughs> Wake up for your night cheese. Yeah. And sleep. Okay. Uh, but I'm standing in a bucket. Well, you're happening? lying in a bucket. How am I lying in a bucket? What type Arson. of bucket is it you lie in? Arson first. 